you can't learn anything from a video game. There's a whole genre of games that are designed to teach us, and some of them even hold a special place in our hearts. So get ready to take a ride on the nostalgia train, because here's our list of unforgettable educational games. The mention of books aren't usually something that kids get excited about, but when paired with video games, well, that's a different story. Storybook Weaver is a game that has kids bring their stories to life by using illustrations, music, text, and effects. It has an easy-to-use drag-and-drop interface, making it simple for kids to use. Plus, young authors can even share their tales by publishing them via printer. Despite its basic concept, the game has kids exploring their endless imagination, so it's no surprise that many spend so much time with this one. Oh Canada, the land of lumberjacks, maple syrup, and one classic video game that every Canadian kid knows, Cross Country Canada. A part of the Cross Country franchise, this geography-based game has players taking the role of a cargo trucker who has to deliver different goods to cities across Canada. To play the game, you have to type different commands to progress. Strangely enough, the game doesn't have a list of commands to tell players what to do, but it's the lack of that direction that makes it enjoyable to play. Kids who played this game know that uncovering a new command was like hitting the jackpot. Who knew a trucker simulation could be so much fun? There's no better way to motivate children to practice their typing skills than fighting off flesh-eating zombies in-game. The Typing of the Dead is a modification of the zombie shooter arcade game House of the Dead 2, and has players type their way out of frightening situations. Regardless of being an educational game, Typing of the Dead had mainstream success because of its unique take on the genre, making it hard for any other typing game to compete. The best part is that most of the words you type have nothing to do with the undead, but at least now we know typing may be a good skill to have in a zombie apocalypse. Most educational games try to hide the fact that it's teaching you, but the next game on our list doesn't follow the pack. Brain Age Train Your Brain in Minutes a Day is a collection of puzzles and math problems. Based off a neuroscientist's research, each exercise is designed to stimulate various areas of the player's brain, with options to test your progress. Its release on the Nintendo DS gave players the ability to play on the go and use the stylus, which made it a convenient choice for gamers. When you think Carmen San Diego, there are probably a few things that come to mind. A game show, animated series, and most definitely, the video game. Where in the World is Carmen San Diego was released in 1985 and had players traveling throughout 30 countries to find clues to track Carmen and her henchmen down. It found its success because of the game's diversity in characters and detective style gameplay. Where in the World is Carmen San Diego became one of the best-selling games on the Commodore 64 and had fans asking, Where is 